You know, I was born and raised Catholic. I come from an Irish Catholic family. Oh, if I could remember my first communion, I was little, because you do it when you're in second grade. These are my communion. My favorite, let me look for my favorite. There's a devious one. Where is that one? Oh, walking down the aisle, about to receive my first communion. And I'm looking over at my parents, um, just like beaming over at them. One of the things that I do remember, um, beyond receiving communion for the first time, which was such a monumental moment in a young woman's life. My grandfather gave me the Grease album. <laughs> I think Pope Francis gives us hope, which is something we really haven't ever had in the past. It's really interesting that the Pope is coming to Philadelphia. You know, we've seen a, a hate crime where we've seen LGBT people attacked on the streets of Philadelphia. We saw a teacher at a Catholic school fired for getting married. And so it's, you know, it's, it's interesting that he's going to be in Philadelphia where there are these, these living examples of what a non-accepting Catholic church can do. We partnered with uh, Dignity USA and wrote a letter to Pope Francis and delivered it to the Vatican asking him to sit down with us, but more importantly, sit down with the families. This letter is also a springboard to sort of shaping the narrative while he's here. I really hope that he utilizes his massive platform um, in this leadership role that he has to welcome LGBT people back into the Catholic Church.